show you on the map. <coughs> All right. Um, nope, not Trails West. I may be showing you this for a reason. Oh. Hint, hint. So, here's the Gadsden Purchase. Is it we, Mexico? We bought it from Mexico. And we bought it from them. Yes? No. We bought Gadsden for, we bought this for 15 million. Well, we took it for 15 million. All this, we bought that little bit for 10 million. And we did that. We did that because we wanted our Southern Railroad to California to go entirely through the um, United States. So we did that to put a railroad through it. That's what the guys to purchase. This huge piece of land for 15 million and that tiny piece of land for 10. Well, okay, we fought a war and forced them to give us all this. They, we forced them to, uh, to cede it to us. It just felt bad. But this we were purchased legitimately. Okay. All right. I don't know. Oh. Uh, what? Was that too? That's being oh, funny. That was awkward. I, I don't know where we left off. Yeah, you just answered it. I know. <laughs> See that look cold, big David? <laughs> Catch my ball. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> what lesson might a Western traveler have learned from the story of the Donner Party? A. Go ahead. Correct. You might take a shortcut. What might a Western traveler have learned from the Donner Party? Oh, I knew. I like how Chelsea ducked. Like the person behind her was going to catch it. Dave Matthews on the wall. Alright, get. What happened to never talking? Yep, never talking. Still a roll. Let's try again. Oh, you caught it. We'll count it. What description fits the group of people known as the 49ers? Easy, right? A, gold seekers from America and abroad who migrated to California. B, middle-aged married men with previous gold mining experience. C, individuals, pro individual prospectors of California gold mining sites. Or D, Mexicans and Ameri South Americans who immigrated to find gold. A is correct. That was quite a throw. Did you hear that, Stacey? Yeah. I don't like this system. I don't know who needs it now. We haven't gone in a while. Really? No. I don't. I don't know. That's see, this is where I'm gonna get confused. I'm an old man. Good. All right. Which of these statements is true about the gold rush? Years. Population of California grew more than twenty-five thousand. That's A. C, B, Mexicans and South Americans came to make up the largest foreign group in the mining region. C, the vast majority of gold rush miners left California and took their earnings to their families back east. Or D, the large amount of gold in circulation in California caused the price of gold to drop. So, oh, um, San Francisco grew. Mexican and South Americans make up the largest foreign group in the region. Gold rush miners left California and took their earnings home, or gold circulation caused the price to fall? Uh, D? D is incorrect. Oh, A. A is correct. Oh, 25,000 increase from the population. Hello. Women. Let's do this group. <laughs> I think that, that you, my group cheats the point. That was to you. Connor's on. Oh, does that mean they get minus one? Yeah. 
Oh, that was Connor that did that. Oh! <laughs> women, <laughs> women generally made money in... they got to pick on you because you're leaving. Women generally made money in mining communities by doing what? Women. They were placer mining. They operated boarding houses. They ran casinos. Or they manufactured clothing. D, they manufactured clothing, is incorrect. I want to steal it. You cannot steal your own coins. I steal. Can I see that? Okay. You should direct your gaze in this direction. Yeah, I hit the back first. Uh, oh! I got minus. Oh, never mind. <laughs> now they caught it and they're stealing it. Go ahead. Answer that one. Yep. B. B is correct. Yeah. I might have missed you, Shadley. Who's losing? A steal is two. Jeez, people. Jordan, Taylor's not playing by herself. Race Taylor. We get two. We get two. Oh, okay. Taylor's not playing on her own. Race Taylor. Who's Jordan? That's a good idea. You go ahead. Okay, it's Mackenzie. Does this need to be scrolled down? Are we still... Yeah, I want it. Forgive me if I spell your name wrong. Oh. She wants it up. Whoa! <laughs> I really don't know. You just got two points. Because we have an answer. We've had two turns. I don't know. All right. Placer mining. It's a search for gold by washing gravel. Oh. B, it's the excavation of underground tunnels for gold. C, it's search for places likely to have gold. Or D, examining a mineral to see if it's gold. A. A. Yes! I have Libby, you could have just said it on our team. Oh, yeah. Libby, you look over at the answers. No, I wouldn't do that. Plus, he doesn't even have the answers. Oh. You were talking... What happened to California's population as a result of the gold rush? Did A, it grew, but not as much as it had during the Spanish and Mexican periods of settlement. B, did the population <coughs> boom during gold fever, but declined just as quickly because of inflation? Did C, the immigrant and American flocked to California to get rich quick and stayed to build a stable frontier society? Or D, did California and the Native Americans still outnumber immigrants and Americans after the gold rush period? Can you repeat B? B is... The period, the population boomed during gold fever, but declined just as quickly due to inflation. C? C is right. Immigrants and Americans flocked to California to get rich quick and stayed to build a stable frontier society. Oh. <laughs> Jordan! <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> As a result of the population explosion of the gold fever years, California became A, eligible for, sta for statehood, B, richer than any other country in the region, any other region in the country, C, more prosperous than any other region in the country, or D, off limits to immigrants. So they became a state quickly, richer than anyone else, more populous than anyone else, or off limits to immigrants. Can you answer the question? As a result of population explosion, of gold fever, California became what? You mm. the answers. Mm. Eligible to become a state. B. What? B. Richer than any other region in the country? No, no, no. C. 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 More populous than any other region? Yes. Incorrect? Oh, wait. We'd like to steal. We'd like to steal. Oh, Mr. Rat, can I steal? Oh, go ahead. Oh, Mr. Rat, can I steal? 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 Oh. Yeah. Hi, Nathan. Question? Here you go. Yeah. Oh, Nathan. Finally, Shut up, Slippery, li slippery little guy. <laughs> uh, no. That's, that's, no, that's fine. 
Oh, we're out of questions. You should make them up. I have a question. True and false. Where was Libby born? Chicago. No. California. Oh, actually, it was Mexico. Mexico. Who was the teacher in the class? Mr. Mexico. All right, here we go. True or false? True or false, my favorite. Actually, it's not true or false. Um, it's... Yeah, this is actually the easier easier. These are a complete each statement with by filling in the blank. Astoria was one of the earliest settlements in what would become blank country. Wait, can you read it? Please? Astoria was one of the earliest settlements in what would become blank country. Oh. What kind of country? Correct, Oregon. <laughs> The American Fur Company bought skins from Western fur traders and trappers who became known as blank. Oh, I know this. Shh, yeah. Stop talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, point off for those. Yeah, point off. Point off. Uh, the American Fur Company brought bought skins from Western oh. fur traders and trappers who became known as mountain. Correct, mountain men. Mountain men. I was going for you had it to save your life. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the practice of polygamy. The practice of polygamy caused blank to be persecuted in the 1850s. One point. Back to negative, less than negative before. Negative three. Oh, like that, right? We're under par. stupid. The Texans, the Texans suffered a striking defeat by the Mexican army in the Battle of... Correct. Hey, keep me track of mine. My fails. Mr. Matt, just don't go. Yeah, don't slap it. We're three under par. Like that? That's not good. I can catch the ball. Catch. We're three under par, Mr. Matt. Never do that. It's because you guys have been talking. I'm proud of the group. Okay. Yes. That would be funny if you dropped it. All right, <laughs> obvious fate is another way of saying what? They're in my group, too. <laughs> that, she doesn't, that she doesn't want it. Obvious fate is another way of saying... Manifest destiny? Yeah. I love you, Scott. In front of it. <laughs> American expansionists cried 54, 40, or fight. In reference to the line to which they wanted blank to extend. Their northern territory. Yes. Didn't we already do that one? Yeah, these are repeats. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, I mean like our group did that. Wait, she didn't give us our point. Um. With the treaty of. We almost had time. Okay. In front of me. Thank you very much. That was, that was great. I think we're one more point. Okay. Who's ball? With the blank, the U.S. government was able to buy the southern part of what is now Arizona and New Mexico for ten million dollars. Careful. For how much? Ten million. Oh, got a guess. Guess and purchase. What's, what's one for Libby's group? Oh, Libby, no, Libby, no. 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 Libby,